It was China's version of Black Friday on November 11th, also celebrated as Singles Day, and Chinese shoppers didn't miss out on their chance spending a record 25 billion U.S. dollars on that day alone. And as signs of a thaw emerge in Seoul-Beijing relations, with the two leaders even promising to normalize the ties, Korean companies were able to enjoy their decent share of the action as well. Our Park Ki-jun has the details. China's Singles Day has surprised the world once again. Year after year, the Chinese e-commerce giant Alibaba breaks its own sales record on November 11th, the world's biggest retail event. Last year, it processed sales worth 17.8 billion U.S. dollars, which this year has grown to an astounding 25.4 billion. It's not just consumers from China, but almost every country in the world buying things ranging from shoes and clothing to liquor, electronics and diamonds, at a rate of 256,000 transactions per second. As soon as the event began at midnight, Alibaba's live sales ticker registered sales of a billion dollars within three minutes. And in just one hour, the sales ticker registered 10 billion, reflecting the enormous purchasing power of Chinese consumers. This year, in terms of China's purchases from abroad, Korea was the country with the fifth highest sales, following Japan, the United States, Australia and Germany. Korean distributors, including cosmetics companies, domestic airlines, department stores and duty-free operators, carried out active online promotions ahead of Singles Day, mainly to make up their losses from China's unofficial sanctions against them. Among the Korean retailers, Elan Group posted the highest sales during the 24-hour period with over $68.5 million. Although Korea ranked two places lower than it did last year, it's considered a positive result that signals a slow recovery in the distribution sector. Park Hee-jun, Arirang News.